Hey guys. I just want to make this short video on why I hibernate to this game. First of all, I want to say that this is the best mobile Ragnarok game that I've played, because of how it is very close to the classic version which brings nostalgia for us RO veterans. I've played this game since 2020 when the KR version was released, but didn't get so much time to go through because you need updated English patch every time the server updates, it was hassle. I played 3 months in NA and then this server came. It sure was a great experience until sometimes you needed to take a break. When the dorm patch was released, I was very hyped for the class, but didn't expect the overwhelming tasks that you need to go through. My usual routine is grinding EXP in the morning. After that, try to do TR or even just PR will do. If I don't get lazy I will do Temple of Nightmare, thanks to my guildmates. Shared attempts with players and Jubro's ruins. Endless tower that is hard now and time consuming. And then, we got another very challenging dungeon that is Freya Mirage. Just looking at how you play this dungeon is making me feel tired. Then we get this very boring weekend event, Moonlit Arena. I just skip this and don't mind the rewards. Some events are okay like Phantom Hunt and Guild League, however, War of Empyrium became boring when everyone has their alliances, and the lack of active guilds participating, maybe already quit. Those events are already enough, but then you got another task to do here in the new island called Freeport. The story quest takes so long that I just give it a break then continue afterwards. Also, timely events that you need to log in and do the quest, then there is this sofa buff that strong guilds are monopolizing it, and many more encounter quests every day. I get to the point that I can't do it anymore, the realization of missing so much rewards from that new daily tasks makes me more anxious, and I think it's time. I will be forever a fan of Ragnarok Online. Salute to the global RO developers for this awesome game, and for my guild members who had been close to me. Thank you. I will still continue making guides for the new classes that will be released, especially the non-meta builds. I hope you guys still support my next journey. Until then.